Hey guys and gals, this is an update of my older video about croc hunting and drifting. So you click the video so you know this. So let's get into the basics. There are nine points I want to go over that elucidate this method of croc hunting. But before we get into that, one note about this video. This method is a zero damage taken method, especially now that currents are gone. In this video, my character, look, character looks a little worse for wear. But that's because I was doing 50 current pulls in between the captured footage. And those tend to get you bitten every once in a while. Okay, nine points. Let's get into that. Point number one, proximity pulls. Proximity pulls save cannonballs. Crocs have a very large aggro radius. You don't have to get too close in order to pull them. Point number two, if you get too close, they will breach. If a fish breaches, it won't follow you for a set period of time which makes it harder to herd them all together, which slows down your grind and waste your loot scroll. If it does happen, it's not the end of the world. More on that in a bit. Point number three, keep enough distance between your boat and the mobs so your drift will get you a nice broadside shot on them when you do drift. You don't always have to be turning and burning. Sometimes you need to go straight a little bit to extend that distance. Usually this is, usually you want to couple this with a breezy sail. Then you can turn drift and fire point number four you want to drift in a release i like to drift as i'm charging the shot sometimes i drift before the shot is off cooldown it all comes down to distance to know when to do this and when not to you'll get a feel for it after a while point number five you want to disable auto breezy sail so you can breezy when you want to not just on the timer for example right after a drift or when you need to get a bit of distance away from them the only time I use auto breezy is when I'm doing 30 or 50 currents but like I said earlier currents are a thing of the past so you don't really need to use breezy sail at all during fighting mainly you want to use your auto breezy just from going from pack to pack in between point number six if you do get a breach try to maneuver your boat ah try to maneuver your boat so you bring the pack to the aberrant sea monster and then shoot the lot as they converge. Usually when you shoot a wanderer, it will immediately start following again, but not always. Point number seven. I don't use Q and E. I prefer to use the charge up method of firing. I do this because the Q and E broadsides fire in an arc with a longer flight time. Those shots stay in the air just a little too long for my liking. Whereas the charge shots fire straight towards the target with little to no arc, which allows for greater accuracy in shots, at least for me. It's all about timing, really. And personal preference. I know plenty of people, and they do perfectly well using Q&E. So I advise you all to play with both methods and pick the one that's more comfortable for you. For me, it's the charge method. Point number eight. When doing double pulls, always try to mentally fix a, a midway point between the two packs. And return to that point as soon as you proximity aggro that second pack. And do your volleys and killing from that midpoint area. You don't want either pack to leash halfway through the kill because you wandered a little too far in either direction. This method of croc hunting does eat up a higher than normal amount of boat rations. So have plenty of food to replenish your stockpiles. It's all about being parsimonious with your cannonballs. If you run out of cannonballs, it means a trip back to the docks. But Cayman, I hear you ask. Why not use Origin of Wind? Sure, you can replenish with Origin of Wind, but I never do. The amount they give per Origin doesn't seem worth it to me, and they are also a bit on the expensive side, and they aren't always on the market to buy. Sure, you get a few from doing the dailies, but I usually just stockpile them. I do Balanos meals for Imperial delivery, so I have plenty of special Balanos meals on hand to be used for croc hunting. So... In summary, this method of killing is fast and cannonball efficient at the expense of rations, but it also means I can stay out on the water killing for longer periods of time, which to me makes all the difference. Now the rest of this video will be me commentating on a number of the pulls, but that's pretty much it for all the basics. So enjoy the rest of the video and thanks for watching.
All right, here's a double pull. So you want to proximity aggro the first pack and then head on to the second pack. We're going to thread the needle between this crack close and those three. He just breached. That's fine because we have two packs going. But we have to try to find a way to get him back. So we're going to throw a cannonball shot right into that pack. And then we're going to try to stay close to this guy and try to get a shot in on him to get him re-engaged. And there's a perfect place where he's at. Actually, it looks like we're just going to wait for the time. There he goes. Now he's re-engaged. And even the nine shark that was also breached isn't re-engaged. Oh, no, he's not. So we're probably going to try to get a shot on him with the rest of the pack, maybe? Nope, he's re-engaged. Okay, so we're good. Now we just got to get them all grouped up and fire shots into the whole mess of them. That's a lot. One's down. Now the thing when you're doing two packs and you don't have them all grouped up, you probably kill like half in one shot and then half in another as you get them down. We're going to slow down on that one. And this guy, just, that's the last one. Just needs one more shot. So there you go. Easy. And got a map. Nice. That was a double pull. And I don't have a JoJo, so I have to go really close. This is actually my preferred method of killing crocs is with lowest optimal settings and high 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 um, gamma correction and low contrast. I think that's how it goes. So it's bright when it's nighttime, and you don't have all like the graphics for the waves, so it's much easier to see them. So this is just going to be a single pull. But this is usually how my graphic settings are when I'm croc hunting. I did a good job there of not getting too close. No, nothing's breached. Now we're just trying to group them up and then get the broadside in there with the drift. Yeah, that's a really good grouping. They're all nice in a. Tightly packed. The so one shot hits them all. It really feels good when you get that last shot in. They just all die at the same time. Like that. That's that's a really good pull. But that was a single pack. Alright, next up I think there's going to be a double next. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a double. There's a brief flash. You can pause to see what my uh, stats are. So we already aggroed the first pack. And we're only going to aggro the three on the first run. And we're probably going to do another circle and come back around and grab that last one. Because there's only three of the four that are aggroed. I think that one right there is going to breach. He's too close and I can't cut it. Yep, he breached. So he's going to be off wandering for a little bit. But we're going to go back and grab that one back here. And we're going to do a fire shot from long range. That'll get him aggro. And then we're going to go back to the one that breached. And we're probably going to do a shot on this guy with the rest of the pack and try to get him re-engaged. There you go. He should re-engage if he gets shot right there. And he did. There you go. Now they're all grouped up. One more shot should get them all in. Or finish off the rest.
Oh, still one more. So we just stop and then just shoot the other side. Because we knew he was, a, he was going to die in the next shot. So 187 speed. I'm, I'm still in the videos. I'm still leveling up uh, sailors. So these aren't like the end game stats. Mainly I'm using it to level up sailors. I'm trying to get... Uh, I have 3.7, 3.8s, and a couple of 3.6s. I'm trying to get them all to 3.7 or higher. So they're not uh, at ideal stats kind of thing. We're going to proximity aggro that guy because we, we missed him from the first pull. That's totally natural for that pack. That one pack, you want to do your first pass to aggro three out of the four, and then you do a circle and come back and grab the last one. Because if you try to get, grab all four, they're going to breach. So that's the one pull that you have to uh, partially pull and come back for the last one. And you can either proximity aggro the last guy, or you can do like I did in the previous pack, is uh, fire a long range shot. But I prefer the proximity aggro, of course, saving cannonballs. Good shot there. You get a lot of monos and a lot of coral crystals from doing cracks. And I'm using just a basic blue scroll. I'm not using yellow. And yeah, there we go. All dead. I think there's three more pulls I've got left in the video. And they're all double pulls. There's nothing wrong with doing single pulls. Single pulls until you get the, uh, the hang of it. But double pulls are usually more efficient. But you run the risk of uh, having them breach. So this is that same pull again. We're just going to grab the three and then come back around for that last one. And that one croc, see him wandering over there? He must have breached. So I'll have to grab him after we grab this other guy. So proximity aggro him. There you go. He's aggroed. Now we're going to go back to this croc and... Oh, no, we're cutting. Okay. And there's the other crack. You, you just uh, re-engaged. They will re-engage after a period of time. And when you're doing the double pull, it doesn't matter that much if the first pack breaches because you have some time to kill while you're grabbing the other pack. Good shot. Now we're cutting to the other side. Is only you only usually do this when they're really low, when you know you're not gonna, you don't have to keep trying to dodge. But I saw they were all low after that that right volley, so I just cut left and fired the coup de gras. All right, another double pull. You can pause that. I, that went too fast for me to see what my stats were, but as you can see, it's the same. It, it's the same video. I'm still got that damaged uh, prow, so the stats haven't really changed much. Oh, see, I have the headwind going here, so I'm gonna thread this corner, this needle here. If you go through there too slow, they'll breach. But I had the headwind or the tailwind, so I just put up my sail and just motored through. Long distance, so you want to lead. And when you're in zero current, 
you kind of go too fast, so that's why you want to disable the auto breezy. Or else you just, you, especially when you have the speed on a full blue Carrick. This is, this is a Valor, but even then it's going really fast. So you, if you go too fast, you, it's hard to get them grouped up. That's why you take off the um, auto breezy. All right, should be one more pack in the video. And it's another double, of course. So it's the first pack, so it's okay to grab all four of them. And it doesn't matter if one breaches or two, because we're going to go to the second pack and grab them. Now, if we went to this pack here first and that one we just pulled second, we would have only picked up three. And we're going to cut through here. A nine shark might have breached. Got really too close to him. Yep, nine sharks over there. Hutzing around. But by the time we get these guys all grouped up, he should be on his way over. Hopefully. There he is. He's joined. Notice I'm not firing at all. Until they're all in a nice pack. Sometimes it takes a couple of roundy bouts to get them there, but they'll eventually get there. See how I drifted when my cannon wasn't even ready? But it was all lining up, knowing that the, it'll refresh in time, and I'd still be in position. Love those charge shots. They go like a straight shot right into them. And again, cut it left because we knew it was going to kill him. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helped. Good luck out there.